I'm with Wayne at Lonesomeville Pottery, and this is right here in the Portland area in Southeast. It is. It is also one of the most popular pottery houses in the West. I prefer world, but you can say In the West. world. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to kind of tell us how you do it. I how am. you go, yes, how right, you go about making this beautiful, beautiful pottery. Uh, well, we start with an original designed by Danny. Um, once that's made, one of us, usually Todd or Jose, makes a mold of it, uh -huh. and then we reproduce it for a limited period of time and we sell it around the country. All around the country. Why is it so popular? What do you think? Because it's beautiful. I'll just leave it at that. I'll, I'll try to be modest and say, it's just because it's so pretty. <laughs> It is very pretty. Uh, isn't it though? Where do the designs come from? Are they just all made up in Danny's head or? Yes, yeah. they are. <laughs> they are, yes. Danny just, you know, he just, I don't know how he does it. He's not really, his, his head isn't full of anything else, so why not? It's, <laughs> why not? It rolls around and it just comes out. I don't know, it's, it's amazing. Now, are there any specific influences where this pottery era, time, anything? Well, you know, I think we were influenced by the great pottery houses of the 1930s which only lasted for about a 10-year period before they went out of business. Oh, I had known that before I started. Um, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Uh, other than that, just the idea that, you know, some of these, some of the old pottery can last forever. It's the last remnant of any society. So yeah, once our yeah. society crashes, people will find our pottery in the in And the you'll, they'll see the Lonesomeville logo I on know. the bottom. <laughs> and they'll think of me, well, not specifically. But. So what makes your pottery a little bit different? Is it the firing process, the glazes? It's all of that. I, it's that it's high fire. I, I think we are like the only company that I know of that actually molds high fire pottery. Um, most, of the, most of the molded pottery you find will be low fire. It chips easily. What does high fire mean? It gets a lot harder, so uh, it gets a lot hotter so that the pieces are much more dense and they're much more like what you would find um, high art pottery and thrown okay. pottery. Like most molded pieces are much weaker than the, what we make. Um, we're very good with our glazes. We add lots of under glazes. Each glaze, for instance, this glaze is actually three different colors all applied at one after the other after the other with a kiln dry in between. We use a different color for the interiors. We use iron oxides that are rubbed into the designs to kind of make them pop uh, when they're fired. I just think that, you know, years and years and years of being in one place um, at the same time and has, has allowed us to produce really good pottery. It certainly has. I do say so myself. I think we should go and look at some of the finished pieces. I think we should too. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is just a glimpse of some of the finished product. Tiny glimpse. Yes, a lot of uh, nature motif. Yes. Birds, dragonflies, yes. Yes. pine cones. Yes, Danny takes a lot of inspiration from the natural surroundings. Okay, you have uh, you have vases. Correct. Plates. What Correct. Else? Um, vases, plates, tiles, uh, small trivets, lily pad trivets. Very cute. With images Ooh. burned into them. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, you know, um, functional and non-functional pottery. And some vessels that you can actually use. I mean, you yes. can really use this stuff. These plates are not just for decoration. No, I have some great... Um, so, this is a pretty heavy plate. It is. Can I put it in the dishwasher? You can put it in the oven. Wow. Because Well, it was fired at 2,500 degrees, right? Exactly. <laughs> you can put it in the oven. Um, these little bowls over here. Mm -hmm. I love those. We often use these <laughs> directly in the oven. If you take, for instance, a vegetable that you don't like to eat, uh -huh. <laughs> let's say cauliflower, for okay. instance, and you bake it until it's kind of caramelized, uh -huh. then you put it in a bowl with a little bit of sour cream and Parmesan cheese, and then put it in a bowl like this and bake it again, it gets a crusty top. People think, wow, you're a chef, and you're not. <laughs> nice. It's all in the bowl. It's all in the bowl. <laughs> all right. Well, it really is very beautiful pottery. I Thank think you. anyone would just be happy, so Crazy happy to have. Crazy not to think so. Exactly. Crazy. Anyone would be very happy, especially to get it as a gift. Correct. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to um, let you know where you can buy Lonesomeville Pottery on their website. They have a whole list of retailers. You can also order straight from your website, right? You can order from the website, or there are many retailers on the West Coast you can go to. They're all great people, and they all, they all support us. I'm, they're, they're out there. All right, support local. I like that. I do, too. All right, thanks, Wayne. And again, a link to their website on FusionNW.com.